Hey everyone, welcome back to Tarot Mystic 1111. This is going to be a timeless energy update. Let's see what's happening in your connection. I'm going to pull out an overall energy card to check what's currently happening. What's the present energy? So let's see the overall energy card. Also, if you wish to book a personal reading with me, the link is provided in the description box below. You can also reach out to me at taramystic1111 at gmail.com. All right, so let's see what's the... Oops. Okay. Oh, so let me just shuffle again. What's the overall energy of your connection? Okay, we have past lives. All right, so with this card, uh, of course, I'm getting a couple of messages here. I feel, first of all, I feel that you guys have shared past lives together. And probably there are still a few lessons or um, karma that you need to clear. And that's why this person is probably trying to you know show you a lot of your own triggers they bring up a lot of you know triggers up for you on the surface right now i feel you guys could be mirroring each other all right uh, because this is also uh, associated um with the moon card in the tarot all right so i feel that at this point you guys might be dreaming about each other or there could be a strong intuitive pull towards each other and definitely it's all linked to a past life a strong past life connection so there's a lot of change also that's happening in your connection underneath it's still not visible these changes are still not visible and i feel that there's also along with unseen unpredictable um changes you feel a sense of anxiety you feel a sense of panic you you are worried you don't know what's happening in this connection is this person meant for you or not where this connection is headed towards you know all these questions are popping up in your mind and this is because you know you guys share a strong connection and what you are thinking right now is exactly your person's thought as well. So you guys are mirroring each other, but this is a very strong connection and changes are happening. Okay, so let's just pull out one more Oracle card to see what's happening in your connection. Let's see what's the current energy like. What's happening in your connection? Oh, wow, amazing. Okay, I got two cards. One is reconciliation, reunion, and then I have miracles, surprises, and blessings. Oh my God, this is like amazing, amazing cards. I'm so happy for you guys. And I, I think we've been seeing this reconciliation, reunion card for a very long time, be it in tarot or oracle card, but Guys, miracles, surprises, blessings are coming, are on their way coming towards you, okay? You just have to stay open to these uh, miracles, just have to keep that positive mindset and say to yourself like 100 times, even if you don't see any changes, I'm telling you with the moon card, with the past lives card here, it's like, you know, this is a sign, this is an indication that changes are happening. You know, moon, moon is always represented with changes in our life, in our, in our thought processes, in our mind. So be ready and embrace <clears throat> this reunion, this uh, reconciliation, surprises and blessings. I feel for some of you, your person is going to, out of the blue, they're going to come towards you and let you know how much they missed you, right? <clears throat> so there's some sort of miracle that's happening. Uh, all right, let's see love messages from your person. What do they have to say to you? What's on their mind? Their present thoughts and feelings towards you. You broke my heart. Or oh. So this person or, you know, this, uh, of course, I'm taking up this card as their energy. So they feel like somehow, you know, things um, 
did not end well between the two of you and they feel like you broke their heart maybe there might have been some misunderstandings or a silly argument that kind of you know led both of you parting ways or made your person um stop communicating to you right so but right now they are very very heartbroken um as much probably as you are so they feel this pain actually right and probably they miss you as well so okay <clears throat> Now let's see. Uh, let's jump into the tarot and see what this is all about. Okay, what's currently going on <clears throat> in your connection? What's happening? What's the present energy like? What do you need to know? happening in your connection what's going on what's the present energy not even a single card wants to come out okay eight of wands <clears throat> i got the eight of wands and i got the seven of wands so of course with the eight of wands i feel there's a lot of communication that's going to um come your way back and forth communications are happening between you and your person so that's amazing because eight of wands definitely it represents communication um a lot of excitement and changes that's coming your way um uh, that's happening in your connection but with the seven of wands i feel this is also um this might be challenging for either you or for your person it's definitely challenging but i feel they're determined to you know um start that conversation have that conversation with you and let you know how much they've missed you or you know just clear out the misunderstandings and whatever reason it ended things ended between the two of you so i feel uh, they are uh, if your person is living at a distance from you i feel they're going to um, all the way come to your place and see you and talk to you face to face and you know let you know how much stuff they have to tell you you know whatever happened between and i feel this is going to be really a surprise but uh i'm not sure if you're really open to welcoming them or you might find it a little challenging initially um or there could be roadblocks to overcome but i feel this is definitely going to happen with the eight of uh, wands and um i also feel that um they're pretty determined to to have you even though it, if even if it's challenging i feel your person is kind of you know they're standing their ground initially they might have been uh, they might be acting you know might have been acting a bit defensive when it came to communication but i feel things are moving forward and they have like they're deciding they want to communicate they want to talk to you about a lot of things so a lot of changes happening again um change is something that's i'm picking up strongly So let's see what else do we need to know. Okay. So we've got King of Swords and Five of Wands. So with the King of Swords I feel again the King of Swords is ready to communicate, okay, with his sword in his hand. He's got the clarity of mind. He or she uh gender doesn't matter, but it since it's king so I'm using uh he. But I feel um that in the past this person has acted a bit defensive or right let's be honest with the 7 of wands and the king of swords so this person was a bit emotionally unavailable uh so to say because um they were just acting a bit cold aloof and you felt their energy you felt this person's energy as a bit cold and distant and aloof and it could be because with the five of wands i feel this could be their own um you know th their own tension or i feel for some of you you might have like had arguments with them silly arguments petty arguments it might have also involved other people outsiders who tried to influence your connection maybe some third party it could be friends family their own their work their career their past you know so all these things kind of made this person um take a step back and they went into this cold and aloof energy you felt like this is this person is emotionally unavailable to give you the love that you want so this is the, this is their energy but i feel um and this was the, actually the main reason why things ended between the two of you 
these arguments, this this emotional alo uh, unavailability, aloofness. All right, but I feel all this is going to come to an end, and this is what created challenges, you know, in your connection. This is what uh, led to arguments, and especially so in your person's own mind. They were trying to create these scenarios in their own mind that led to a lot of tension in your connection. All right, so what else do we need to know? Also, with the King of Swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, yeah. Gemini, yeah. Libra, Aquarius. What else do we need to know? Yes, here the, this card is the Three of Swords. You broke my heart. Yes, yeah, so this person, <laughs> this person feels that you know they're just they're just. I feel there's simply misunderstandings between the two of you and they simply feel like they they there are misunderstandings there's heartbreak there's pain uh, between you and this person and they are particularly feeling this pain they can feel the pain your person is uh, right now very very uh, heartbroken and it's because of of this inner tension that they have created you know i feel this person has some difficulty expressing their true emotions and probably that's what led to kind of a fight between the two of you their own triggers showing up and you know they're creating some distance between the two of you but deep within their heart i feel they're just kind of you know really really sad and heartbroken because uh again i feel it's all because you uh, both have shared some past lives together and you need to maybe clear some karmic debts past life karmic debts and learn some lessons from each other and until you don't learn those lessons i feel this connection is not going to move forward so even they are heartbroken for whatever happened between the two of you and right now they just uh, <clears throat> they just don't know how to deal with this situation so they have also they're acting like you know a bit defensive they're they're trying to suppress their emotions with the king of swords even though i feel this person wants to communicate they want to reach out to you and tell you how much they feel for you like instantly they want to reach out because the king of swords is also somebody who's whose th throat chakra has opened up and they want to communicate to you so i feel they want to do that but then something within them is stopping them you know they're trying to suppress uh their feelings and trying to resist themselves so there's a lot of sadness here okay so what else do we need to know Wow, we have, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. That's that's amazing. So I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles, of course, they, they see a family with you, you know. And I feel it, with the Eight of Wands, again, this connection is moving towards Ten of Pentacles. This connection is moving towards abundance. You have learned enough lessons. I feel your person has learned enough lessons. And now it's time this relationship is slowly, slowly moving towards commitment. So with the Ten of Pentacles, a family life is what they imagine with you, what they want with you. They want a long-term, secured future, a happy, um, secured, married life with you. They want to have kids with you. And this is exactly, commitment is what they want. So I feel this is now, uh, this is what they are going to talk about. They're going to talk, uh, talk to you about commitment. They're going to talk to you about um, what they really want out of this connection and you know how uh, they're gonna move things forward and this is actually they want to have amazing conversations with you about commitment because they do want to settle down with you and eventually have a family right with the ten of pentacles so this is what they're gonna talk about um with the eight of wands clarified with by ten of pentacles so let's see what else do we need to know just give it a good shuffle i'm sorry about that noise it's happening upstairs so can't do much about it all right let's see okay wow yes they see you as their ideal one they see you as their ideal mate they um they're so much attracted to you oh my god they see you as the whole package you know and there's growth and expansion again you know this is this is something that i've been stressing about since the beginning of this reading that there's so much of growth and expansion here because you you are learning lessons from each other you're growing and evolving as individuals and i feel this person knows that you bring so much of love and nurturing into their life and they have also kind of changed and they're trying to you know self reflect a lot 
So I feel with the Empress, they see you as somebody they can spend the rest of their life with. They see you as their perfect match, right? And they're so much attracted to you. And, you know, they, they know that you are not going to accept anything less than what you deserve. So they're going to fight for you. With the Seven of Wands, they're determined to have you in their life. And you might be, I feel, acting a bit defensive. I feel you have shown them that, you know, things cannot go on like this. And you might have um like being a little stubborn also like you you're telling them you know what this is ten of pentacles is what i want or commitment is what i want and you cannot just play along like this you cannot just suppress your feelings sitting there and not telling me how you really feel and i feel that kind of brought up a lot of tension between the two of you and that might have led to some silly arguments and th this made you take a stand and your person you know th there has been some sort of misunderstandings and uh, your person is really really heartbroken right now but they see you as you know somebody they put they put you up on a pedestal also with the empress you could be dealing with a libra or um somebody with a strong taurus in their chart yes five of cups so they are they have regrets they have huge regrets they feel like they've missed this opportunity they should have told you this before that they see you as their ideal mate now they're really really sad and they're they're grieving over this loss you know and i feel your person has regrets even though i feel right now they are not showing you this they're suppressing their feelings but this person deep within their heart they're, they're completely shattered they're completely heartbroken you know i feel this ending has really is, is a huge loss for your person and i'm 100 percent sure they're gonna come back to you we have the reconciliation card guys don't don't you worry about it. <laughs> I'm really happy and I'm positive that this reconciliation will happen soon. All right. So what else do we need to know? Angel spirits and guides, please show me some good cards, accurate cards. Moving forward, what's going to happen next in this connection? This person's next actions. Okay, we've got the three of wands. We've got the king of wands. So I feel... If I talk about timeline, Three of Wands is a very clear timeline card here. It's almost like another three weeks to three months that your person is going to take action. This is like, of course, not an ending here. So there's not a permanent ending that's happened in your connection. It's just a temporary pause. And I feel that, you know, they're, they are thinking about it. Your person is planning. They're strategizing their next move. They're waiting and watching like how to go about things and i feel this is very much an action card here with the king of wands they're really active and they're ready to take action it's just about a timing issue here because three of wands also is a divine timing card so i feel obviously with retrogrades going on things slow down i've like said that multiple times in my previous readings but yes you know it's a fact so even though they want to take action they are now trying to really think plan and strategize their next move so they're no they're in no hurry but when they're ready i feel this person is going to really just boom in you know they're going to come towards you all the way to tell you that they miss you they're so much attracted to you they want to have a long-term family that's what they're planning that's what's on their mind they're looking forward to it and they're also afraid you know with this ending you might have like you might have turned your back on this person they're also scared of losing you know so they almost feel like the time is running out and they need to quickly do something about it so they are uh, actually planning a lot and i feel right now they're also heartbroken so they're really sad and trying to you know think about what went wrong here between the two of you and how you know things might have turned out differently if they might have done something differently you know they might have confessed their true feelings or acted in a more mature way so this person is thinking about all that and also trying to uh, really think now what their next action is gonna be all right and i feel for some of them an ex might be creating like um just an ex energy uh, an ex lover that this person um hasn't given closure to so i feel that could also might have been the problem this person is trying to suppress their true emotions or have difficulty expressing their emotions but i feel reconciliation mm. reunion is going to happen soon and it's it's going to be a surprise for you a big surprise mm. Mm. all right with the king of wands guys you could be dealing with um, a fire sign aries leo sagittarius so um because i feel uh, we have so many threes here okay what happened yeah so I feel with so many threes here, uh, we have the three of wands, three of swords, we have the empress. So there, there is, uh, for some of you, it's just for 
a few of you that there could be a possibility that there is a third party involved here due to which misunderstandings happen between the two of you and i also feel with the three uh, number showing up so many times i feel that three weeks to three months is the timeline for you reconciliation timeline okay because a lot of you ask me uh, please tell us about the timeline so it's just a general reading but i feel that three weeks to three months is um, the timeline all right guys so this was the energy update for you let me know in the comments below if it resonates or not please do like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i'll see you on your next one thank you so much for watching